So today I want to talk about a beautiful Remington 550-1. This is a semi-automatic, 22 short, long, and long rifle. This particular version is mounted with a beautiful MicroView 4X scope by Marlin. Has a 26 inch barrel as well as a brass deflector. The most unique thing about this particular rifle is that it is the first gun my father ever owned. And he was kind enough to let me clean this up over a Christmas break um, this last Christmas. And we were able to get it out and shoot it. So I'd like to take a moment today and just talk a little bit about this gun and some family history. So over the winter break, I was back with my family for Christmas, Bark, and one of our yearly traditions is to take care of all of my father's guns, sort of give them a once over and make sure they're doing okay. So this year I was just determined to pull this guy out and get it cleaned up. It was sitting somewhere where it really shouldn't have been and was accumulating its share of rust. And as it hasn't been used or really even played with probably for decades. So, uh, pulled it out and stripped it down, took it all apart. And that was pretty interesting in and of itself. Um, the, the mechanism is one that I've never messed with before. Um, but again, I like doing that kind of thing. So uh, I took that all apart and figure out, figured out how that went back together and just cleaned everything out. And I don't know if he's ever cleaned this gun. You know, maybe his father had cleaned it, but I don't believe that he ever did. Now, originally, uh, this rifle came by itself. And I believe for another Christmas, he was given this Marlin scope. This is really a beautiful scope. Um, it's just a four, four power, uh, but the bluing is really nice with the gold accents and the script on the Marlin logo and the Made in USA it looks really, really nice. And if I'm not mistaken, this is actual horsehair for the crosshairs. I believe that's where that comes from. Um, because once I pulled that apart, I had to get in there and make some adjustments and clean out the lenses and everything else. It had more than its share of dirt, dust, and grime. So that was interesting to have to realign those actual hairs in there. And uh, But anyway, it was just a fun experience for me. And it got me thinking about uh, just family guns in general, doing a little bit more history and sort of what they mean to me currently and what they meant to say my father or my grandfather and the roles that they played throughout their life. So this one, as I mentioned, is a Remington 550-1. This is nice. It's fed from a tubular magazine that unscrews here pulls out, flip it over, and you drop your cartridges in, just like a lever gun, put it back, screw this back in, and you're all loaded up. Now, as I mentioned, this will fire 22 short, 22 long, and 22 long rifle. It's a semi-automatic, and it does have this nice brass deflector here, uh, which I thought was pretty cool, and the charging handle has the most beautiful bluing on it. Um, you know, it's just old quality craftsmanship. And which I, I don't imagine this was a expensive item at the time. But looking back now, we can see the quality and the effort put into these. And it's just beautiful. 
I'm just happy that it's lasted this long and is still in functioning condition. So after we cleaned it up, I went out with my father and we gave her a test run. And I was thoroughly impressed. You know, being a semi-auto, I thought possibly it's going to be ammo picky, but it ate everything that we tried to feed to it. And we had a good time out there shooting. So some other features here are, it does have a manual safety. Um, when you chamber around, it automatically goes into safe. And the bolt comes out the rear when you unscrew the breech. It has basic iron sights, which are pretty nice and do the job very well. All right. So, like I said, we got it out over the holiday and we're able to shoot it together. And to me, that was a great moment. Just being able to share with my father and get out there and shoot with him and see him have fun and enjoy something that he had when he was a kid. So that's really nice. And it cleaned up really well. You know, there's some nicks and scratches in the stock, of course, from, you know, he was a kid. Uh, he tells me how he used to take this. He was probably 10, 12 years old, and he'd put it on the handlebars of his bike and ride to school, right? And they'd all keep these in the coat room of class, and they'd go out after school and either go hunting or shooting rats at the dump, that sort of thing. But uh, the bluing cleaned up pretty well. Um, there is some browning on the barrel, but that's to be expected. Uh, for something of this age and seeing this much use. has a nice Remington plastic butt plate. And again, it's just a nice little fun 22 overall. So I was glad to get this back up and running. And I had a chance to take it out uh, last weekend. And we put a bunch of stuff through it. Put some Federal Bulk Pack. Uh, some Remington 36 grain, some uh, just kind of all over the board. And it didn't have one single malfunction, which is pretty amazing to me. So anyway, I thought I would do a little video on this one here. And then it got me thinking, I have a couple other family guns that need some attention. I thought I'd do a little series of some short videos covering the work I'm going to do on them and just sort of talking a little bit about them and uh, shooting them a little bit. So uh, this will be the first in the series. Again, this is my father's very first 22 rifle that he had as a kid. The Remington 550-1 with a Marlin MicroView 4X scope on it. Pretty neat little rifle and very very accurate too which is nice um, I was a little concerned about the barrel see if there was any rifling still in there and a little worried about the crown from being banged around but turned out just fine um, and it just speaks to again the overall quality of the items that we used to produce and I mean, think about however much this was at the time. You know, we're probably looking um, in the 1950s, sometime in there. It was probably made earlier than that. But my point is, even if it was $50 then, and whatever that equivalent is today, you know, we buy a phone for like $1,000 or something crazy. And how long will that last? A couple years? Three? four if you're lucky. Yet yeah, this has lasted decades and didn't have one hiccup. So choose your priorities, I guess. Anyway, I am glad to have this cleaned up and I just thought it was an interesting little rifle and I thought I would share a little bit about it with you guys. So as always, I appreciate you watching. Until next time, keep your fingers off the trigger and we'll see you later.